today, just want to invite you to come with me to Mercy Hospital this Sunday. That's Divine Mercy Hospital. It's the hospital where God's love is the medicine, the medicine to heal us of our suffering. We usually uh, equate mercy with forgiveness, with sinfulness. But mercy is much more than that, really. Really, mercy is love's second name. It, mercy is about that, that aspect of love when you, when you encounter someone you love that is suffering. That's, the, that's what is meant by God's divine mercy. That is the mercy that we celebrate today. Our suffering today isn't so much from sin as it is from this natural disaster, this pandemic. We need God's mercy today more than ever. Our natural response to suffering is that we want to fix it. We want to solve the problem. Our frustration, our anxieties today come so much from there's nothing for us to fix. There's, there's a lot that we just can't do anything at all about. That's why we need God. That's why we need God, especially now. God can come in and help alleviate our suffering. This Easter Sunday, Pope Francis pointed out that it is Jesus that we look to for the hope, the hope for the answers here to this pandemic. Here's what Pope Francis said. The Jesus plants in our hearts the conviction that God is able to make everything work unto good because even from the grave, he brings life. This, this fundamentally is what divine mercy is all about, that indeed God can make everything good, that he can even turn death into the resurrection. That we don't have to worry about our suffering. That we know He is there present. That He is there to help us through whatever our suffering is. Jesus is here present with us, saying, Do not be afraid as we face isolation and suffering. We suffer from economic depression, from physical ailments, from even death. We know that Christ is present and that it, whatever evil it is that we face, that God indeed can make it good. And so we trust in Jesus. We turn to him. I invite you this Sunday to join me as we celebrate God's divine mercy, that divine mercy that was put on display this Easter weekend when we celebrated Christ's death and resurrection. I invite you this Sunday to Join us in making a consecration to divine mercy. We'll use Father Michael Gailey's consecration prayer to God's merciful love based on St. Therese of Lisieux's offering to God's merciful love. Some of our uh, small communities here in the parish have been spending the last few weeks uh, preparing for this consecration reading Father Michael Gailey's book, 33 Days to Merciful Love. But you don't have to do anything to prepare. You just have to submit yourself to the faith. Submit yourself to the hope that Jesus Christ gives us. Submit yourself to God's divine mercy. So join us this Sunday as we make this consecration to divine mercy. And then after the Mass, we'll celebrate Divine Mercy with some family activities and we'll sing the Divine Mercy Chaplet. Join us this Sunday as we make a consecration to Divine Mercy and celebrate how great God's mercy is.